Hello, welcome to Roost Vans. We're going to go over our power box that stores a Yeti power system for Sprinter and Transit vans, as well as our power panel that we install as part of our core build. Now our power panel brings engine power to this centralized panel. It also has a switch plate that can be used to control your lighting and other switched loads inside the van. It also has an integrated distribution box that distributes power uh, to non-switched loads throughout your van. There's also a shore power plug that connects to exterior shore power so that you can use this plug to charge your Yeti or other power needs. There's also an interface for plugging in to solar panel power supply as well as powering DC loads such as lights and other switched items throughout your van that are going to be fused on this distribution box. Now this power panel you'll notice has a switch plate. It's the same switch plate that's up here. And what we do is we put this power panel in into the wall and then we remove that switch panel and you have quite a bit of wiring, we call it a service loop, available that can be pulled out, routed around to the front of your cabinet whenever you're ready to put in a kitchen cabinet. So it's a great product for a modular build where you're doing in phases and you're not ready to have your kitchen cabinet installed. Now this power box houses, in this case, a Goal Zero 3000X Yeti unit. And the 3000X and the 1500X that we use a lot has an inverter that will give you household plug-ins, such as what is here. Notice that that inverter has a plug that's plugged in. It's essentially an extension cord run behind your wall. There's also 12 volt power supply that powers overhead lighting that's switched on these dimmer controls and as well as a refrigerator in this build that we have installed in this passenger cabinet. Another thing that this offers is input for charging the Goal Zero Yeti and in this case we have our solar input so you can receive solar power off of the roof of your van as well as a shore power connection so if you are plugged into shore power then you'll be able to use that AC shore power to charge the Yeti as well. This is wired directly to the uh, engine battery and alternator system of your vehicle. The link module particularly is important because it will not fully discharge your engine battery and leave you stranded. This is your alternator plug that's plugged in. This gives you the ability to plug into the power panel and then plug this into the back of the Goal Zero Yeti. Both your solar and your DC loads. So your solar power coming in and your DC loads to the van. That plugs in and then this end plugs in to the Yeti. Now the next item is our shore power connection. So whenever we're plugged into shore power then this will plug into the Yeti and allow for charging based off shore power. Now another item of note is our jumper. If you don't have a Goal Zero power bank then you can always install the power panel and then bridge the power between your engine battery and your power needs. This is a great option for whenever you take your Yeti out and maybe you have it inside the house and you're not using it in the van, then you can still power all your lighting and your refrigerator and everything off of your car battery. Thanks for visiting us. Uh, check out roostvans.com and feel free to give us a holler.